Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Maximus Black. And this is Nova War. And we are bringing you... I actually don't know what league this is. I'm going to have to research that and then put it in an annotation. Because sure. I have absolutely no idea. Certainly. But I can tell you that this is a Protoss versus Protoss on Shakur's Plateau. And uh, up top here, we have Jeffrey. That's my name. I didn't know you were playing in this match. <laughs> That's my name. It's even spelt the same way. And um, down bottom... We have Action, Action Jackson. That's my middle name, and it's spelled the exact same way. I also capitalized the N. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you've got one hell of a middle name, sir. And, uh, yeah, so this is a, a PvP. Um, not a whole... Not, this is a matchup I, I really don't like. Uh, Protoss versus Protoss. Just, kind of boring. It is very... It's extremely boring. It's a slow. But you know what? We're going to do it, just because. And it looks like um, Jeffrey is taking out two probes to do a fast scout. Um, don't know how I feel about taking out two probes. I mentioned this in one of the earlier casts that we've done, that I usually only take out one probe at the beginning and move him around the map because I just think it's just too much of a, uh, what is he doing over here in this bushes building? Ah. Okay, so that is why he is taking out two probes. It looks like he's going to do some proxy cheese. Yeah, so he brought out two probes, simply uh, one to do the scouting, so it looked like he wasn't doing anything suspicious, and the second one was to put that proxy pylon uh, over and behind those uh, those trees. Very interesting tree placement on this map uh, to have a little tiny area like that. It basically just kind of promotes uh, cheese, essentially. Uh, but as you can see, this is going to probably be one of those all-in zealot uh, cheese attacks, and uh, I'll be very interested to see if it works because... Like I was saying, that's a very, very convenient place yeah. uh, for that to be. I and actually it's, never noticed that before. You no, know, and, it, and it's hidden, so uh, essentially all he has to do is build up just the right units. If he's going to win this match, though, he's definitely not going to want uh, to stop production back at his base in terms of probes. Uh, some people do fall into that trap, uh, and uh, we'll have to see if uh, you mess up. Uh, he's actually falling pretty hard for that trap right now because he still has uh, 10, uh, 10 out of 26 and uh, he built that one pylon. Now, when you are uh, going up against this sort of cheese and when you're doing your scouting, because you should be scouting in the first place, so we're assuming you are, and you're up in this base and you see one pylon. Uh, you're, you're either playing the worst person in the world or he's cheesing you. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the time is when I go up there and I see one pylon or no pylon or a pylon in a forge. I'm thinking, okay, time to search my area of the map because something fishy is going down, and that's exactly what's happening right now. He's doing a good job uh, with staying behind these trees, not giving away his position. I actually love the fact that he brought down two probes and made it look like he was one of them was just being the original scout. That was really nice. Um, Red here just still sticking with his typical uh, his typical build here, getting a robotics facility fairly quickly. That's a, that's a very fast robot. Yeah, facility. usually I usually go three gate, then robo. Um, this guy just straight up went and got his gateway, his cybernetics core, and his robo. Now, when you only see no uh, one pylon up in his base, it's got to throw some red flags, so I don't know if I would be teching up like this, and it looks like here he is go. in a Bring lot of back. trouble here. Four zealots going and taking out these pylons. If he can successfully take out these pylons, he's not going to be able to build any units. No, uh, you know this. This is definitely something. Something I'd like to point out while we watch uh, this wonderful doing? cheese splitting out. I don't know what he's doing, splitting up his zealots. He could have taken out that second pylon, and it would have been all but game over. Yep. Uh, but yep. you know what? While he's messing up this cheese, I'd like to take the time real quick to talk <laughs> about how up here, right where he's standing, uh, action could have blocked this off, and he would have had both his expansion and his main covered for something like this. Uh, he didn't block off his main ramp, he didn't block off uh, that ramp either, and now he's oh. in a bit of pain, and oh, those oh. those probes are seriously hurting, and I don't know why he hasn't moved them, or at least tried to surround them, and here he goes, now, he's, go. now he's making an effort, and that's better, but he took some serious, serious damage here, uh, and, uh, but you know what? Oh, I don't three think... More. Three more. I don't think we, we still haven't had any pro production oh. up, so it's only 6 to 10, uh, which is kind of disturbing that that's oh, happening. There goes that pylon. There goes that pylon. Uh, you know what? Action's not in a horrible, horrible position yet. Uh, he definitely could be in a worse position. I mean, if he would have kept those zealots and throws out a GG, 
That might, you know what? That's a, that, that's dickish. That, you know, I hate when people, that's, that that's, just pisses me that's off. That's douchebaggery. Yeah, that's, that's really upsetting. Uh, you don't throw it a GG before the game actually is not It's just very unsportsmanlike. We do it all Especially, the time, especially, no, no, but not when you, oh, not when oh, you, no, guy. that's just BS, man. The guy is cheesing the guy right now and then throws a little dickish GG. I don't think so. Oh, and these cannons are actually about to finish. Dickish GG that one. <laughs> and, uh, but no. No energy, but these zealots are gonna take out that zealot, and the cannon finished. Now, please tell me there is some more. Absolutely no production going on. Still has 10 probes, and although Action Jackson took a massive probe beating, he is only two. Pretty soon gonna be up to par with uh, income, and uh, it looks like he is just not giving up with it. Look at the queued up zealots. Horrible. Abs no, 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 you guys, you guys. At this point, if the, if the initial push with this cheese does not work, and this is obviously starting to fail at this point, this is the first red flag uh, for Jeff. Uh, he wants to uh, back up now. He has that extra minerals, as you saw. He's putting on three zealots to one gateway at a time. Uh, either you're going to build another gateway out there and continue your cheese that way, or you're going to want to uh, go back to your base and start building up and and transitioning into something else. Because really, at this point. Uh, you're gonna just screw yourself over. That cannon is in the most godly, beautiful position I have ever that seen. That is one of the sexiest looking cannon placements I, I've ever seen in yeah, my life. Yeah, and, and even though it's making his uh, probes do a serious that's journey, a lot of that's a lot of zealots, though. But you know, but you know what? He needs to, be, no, he needs to back I, up. He needs to back up. He needs to get away from that cannon right now. He needs to get the hell away from that cannon. And look at that placement of these nice. zealots. Choking the mode in between the mineral that line. Cannon is going to town. This cannon is just ripping, and another cannon's about to finish. This actually could be GG. What the hell is Jeff doing right now? Jeffrey is shitting the bed all <laughs> over the place, taking wild, ferocious dumps all over his chances of winning this game. This is when Cheese fails 101. I'm loving this. I love the fact that Jeffrey just Absolutely. did a premature GG and now is getting owned and just does not know when to give up, does not know when to throw in the towel. And look, he's now building more gateways, but look at this. Ten probes. You know, okay, at this point, Jeffrey is in a world of trouble. No, 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 no. No, you know what Jeffrey should do right now? Leave? He, he should uninstall the game of StarCraft. <laughs> he should uninstall the game of StarCraft. Do yourself a favor. That right there is no. No, you don't do some cheese, throw it a GG, continue. Queue up 50 zealots, <laughs> stay at 10 probes. Man, I, Action Jackson just gave me a chub. I love the fact. <laughs> I, I just love. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this placement. Look at. That's very nice. It, you know what? It might be half luck. I don't think he planned that cannon. No, placement. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say he planned it. All right, we'll give it to him. We'll I'm gonna give, say he planned it. We'll give it to him. But you know what? You know what else? At this point, well, he is slide blocked right now, but that's okay. But you know why Jeffrey's in a world of trouble? No warp gate. He could build 6,000 friggin' uh, gateways out there, but you know what? Warp gate for uh, Action Jackson at this point is going to mean the world of difference. Oh. And he goes, oh, he says, oh, there's some zealots coming. He's probably going to go proxy his oh, ass. Oh, yeah, he could go and proxy his oh, ass right another now. Cannon. Another cannon to, to, to deter any more attacks. Look, and here look at this comes... placement. You know what? He is oh, placing them this is, way. He is, he is doing it this way. Look at that placement in between the pylons. Does this again. Chokes. Again. And, and he leaves the, the game. Oh. Yes. Oh, that was so... So epically yes. awesome. I love the fact that he just lost that game. Oh. You know what, Jeffrey? Change your name, son, because I am ashamed that we share the <laughs> same name. That was just no. 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 So, guys, wow. That is what you do when you have some Zelda cheese. In, I mean, I'm still convinced that Jeffrey probably could have won that game if he would have not been doing whatever he, he was didn't doing. He split them in the beginning. No, if he would have been killing those pylons, I actually think he... He you probably could have won the game, yeah. but he made a couple of mistakes. Well, he made a lot of mistakes, <laughs> but he made a couple of mistakes at the beginning. And keeping cool, remaining calm, action, put a beautifully placed pylon, used his the, the small amount of minerals that he had, used them the most effectively, didn't waste that 150 minerals for that forge on a stupid zealot. He used it on a forge, then got the cannon, and that one cannon destroyed 500 bucks worth of zealots, and just destroyed the sheer everything about Jeffrey. Just destroyed <laughs> his, just killed him mentally. Everything at that point, he panicked, got queued up like five zealots. I don't even know how he was getting that money with ten probes, but he did it, 
and uh, Action One. What do you think about that? Uh, I don't, are you sure you have anything else to say there? You, you you run out of adjectives for that? There? Oh, that was awesome. Yeah, you, you know what? That that right there uh, was uh, the description of what could possibly be the next great underdog comeback story for the next uh, amazing 3D Disney movie. Uh, and I would love to see that. Action Jackson takes on Jeffrey and wins. Comes back with excellent uh, photon cannon placement and maybe a little bit of luck that Jeffrey has the IQ of a paperweight and left all of his zealots there to just die. Uh, and then on top of that, split them up in the beginning and didn't take out that one last pylon. If that was gone... That would have been game. It would have been game. Yep. It would have been game over. Yep. Uh, okay, so let's let's talk let's, about... Let's, let's, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap, let's, let's wrap it up, but first I want to go over... I want to just want to recap. I like to recap for for the lower lower level guys out there what we saw good and bad uh, from our players here. Okay. All right, and I'll do it quick. I promise. Okay. All right. That's why I, I'm not. No, it's, it could be a sex joke. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> All right. So, Action Jackson bringing it home with uh, with some absolutely stellar. Uh, uh, we say this a lot, but you know what? Cool, calm, and collected play. Yep. Uh, he he was. You know, when you get cheesed like that. It's probably the worst feeling in the world, and and I know you know we'll be on vent, and I know exactly what's happening to Jeff because I just hear absolutely s- huge strings of curse words, some of which that don't even exist yet, uh, just coming <laughs> out of his mouth at all times. And you know, so you, you know, you have to be able to keep calm. And Action did that; he did a fantastic job of, of staying on top of just keep building his probes, keep doing what he was doing. Um, we, you know, I know sometimes we say. Let your units be your defense, but there are some scenarios where you have to absolutely get a photon cannon or two uh, to help you win out the day. This was one of those scenarios, uh, and as you saw, good placement can make a world of difference. Oh, it did. Some people would have built like 74 cannon. All he needed was that one. This second one up here didn't even need to exist. No. This this right here that because one. that that one right here did it, everything for him. Didn't even take it. Didn't even take a hit. No, no. He just he sat down here and he blocked this off. Yep. The next best thing Jeffrey could have done would have had to try and leave two guys here to continue that attack and bring these three over and up in here and try and do something over here. But then this cannon is just going to rape their life anyway. Yeah. It, so it, it was perfect. It, it was just really well placed. So action. Thumbs up for cool, uh, calm, and collected play. The only thing that I would have suggested next time you're on this map uh, that you might want to try, if you don't block off this ramp, block off this ramp, secure this, and you're off to the races. But you know what? Uh, at the other hand, I know Jeffrey was a bit of a, uh, a dick, GG'd a little prematurely, and did some cheese. Uh, but you know what? He did do this cheese well. Mm-hmm. He did. He knew where to place it. This is the, probably the g- most godly place for a cheese location I've ever seen. Um, and uh, did well up into the point where once it fails, that's it. You got You got to go, guys. That's if you're it. gonna if you're gonna try it, as soon as the first push fails, sometimes you can tell. Okay, if I save up for a second push, that's gonna be it. And this was one of those cases. The second push should have been it, uh, but he just messed it up a bit. If you're gonna do it, as soon as that is done, ignore this. Ignore this. It's to hell with it. You spent your money. Go back up here. Get to work on bringing yourself back up. And if you are going to cheese, don't stop building probes. If you if you uh, say, all right, I'm not going to build the third zealot. I'm going to build two probes. Yep. The next round, you will have more money to build more units, and you'll actually end up with more attacking units in the end. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Jeff, do you have anything else to add? One last thing. I know we're dragging on here, but only thing I want to say is when you've done that first initial scout and you only see that one pylon is happening, you know that there is something fishy going on. So with that said... Don't do not do what Action did here and and macro up. And it, it, he just went right for one gateway, one cybernetics core, went in right into the robo. Instead, get those units ready. Prepare yourself for an Scout. attack. Scout. Exactly, guys. That could save you the world of difference. But anyways, this is how it turned out. I love the outcome of the game. It was, well, it was very well played on both sides, except that uh, it just didn't work out for one of them. So <laughs> with that, I'm going to... Uh, Call it. And uh, this is Max. Oh, yeah, d2dgamer.com. Don't forget to go there. I'll have an annotation up. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next time. Next time, I am Maximus Black. And I'm Nova War. Peace out, guys. Peace.